What is good YouTube? Chris is Kicks here back with another sneaker review and today we have the Concepts and New Balance 997 New York from the City Rivalry Pack. This is a two pack of shoes, one from Boston and one from New York. This is the New York one. I do have the Boston pair on the way so depending on when you watch this video check my channel and the video should be up and if not it will be up in a week or two when I receive the shoes. Okay, so first off, I ordered these shoes directly from Concepts. As you can see, we have the special packaging that comes with Concepts releases. Uh, if you didn't know, when you order a Concepts release internationally from another retailer, you don't get the Concepts box. You only get the standard New Balance retail box. So first off, let's get into the retail box from Concepts. Um, I'm not really familiar with what it is, but reading the description, it is a Cracker Jack box. Uh, I don't really know what Cracker Jacks are but I'm from London, UK, so we don't really have those things. So first off, you have the Concepts branded sizing. So you've got New Balance, nine, uh, New Balance Model 997, color turquoise slash silver, and I'm a UK 9.5 in New Balance, which is US 10. So side of the box, we have a shoe surprise, and guess what's inside? Stripey on the other side. Same on the other side, shoe surprise, guess what's inside. And on the roof of the box, you do have that lovely Concepts logo with the original prize inside. With all Concepts releases, you do get the original New Balance box. We'll get to that in a second, but I really like this. The inside of the box, both lid and base, has a popcorn print. Do, do Americans call popcorn Cracker Jacks? Is that what popcorn is? Um, I don't know. But yeah, completely lined inside on the box both both the lid and the base with popcorn okay so now we have the standard new balance box so size labeling from new balance is a m997 nsy um yeah that's pretty much it for the new balance sizing label gray new balance box now let's get into the shoes. Okay, so first off, with almost all uh, New Balance or ASICs, whatever brand it is, whether it's collaboration, you do get additional laces and Concepts never disappoints. So with these shoes, we had three sets of additional laces. We have the, uh, I would say silver laces, which arrived in the shoes. We have a pair of black laces, which do not match anything on the shoe at all. A pair of turquoise laces to obviously match the upper of the shoe. And what I switched out for, which is a pair of white laces. For me personally, I liked the white laces as I just think they really picked up the hit of white that's on the midsole of the shoe and really brightened up the shoe. Um, the only other option I would have gone for would have been the turquoise one to match the upper of the shoe. Um, the black and the silver, I weren't really... Well, the black especially, I wouldn't. can't really see why you'd want black laces in the shoe. Silver maybe to match the hits of the silver around here, the tongue, the lining light is pretty much silvery, but yeah, black, I don't know. Uh, yeah, maybe, but not for me. All right, so let's get into the description of the shoes from Concept, Concepts website. We have, for Concepts take on the New York City model, they've taken a cue from the historic design behind the Bronx hometown team's adopted logo. Sorry, the home, hometown team's logo. Adopted in 1909 and originally a med medal, Signifying the highest decoration for bravery exhibited by a public safety officer, this classic New Balance made in USA 997 offers a teal premium suede upper with a pebbled leather tongue, reflective lining and a Concepts branded footbed and custom design packaging model after everyone's favourite ball game snack in the red stripe box with a prize inside. Okay, so if you didn't get it from that, Concepts did a really, really interesting spin on the New York theme. Um, a lot of times when you see a New York based sneaker, it's either going to be navy and orange, uh, I like the Knicks colorways, or most often they're pretty much black. Um, concepts went deep. 
Um, they actually looked at the the NY logo, uh, which is the the team logo, and um, found out that the inspiration for the logo was actually a medal. So that NY logo was designed by Tiffany and Co. The jewelry designers, Tiffany and Co. designed a medal for police officers, and on that medal it had an NY logo, which was then adopted as the Yankees logo. So Tiffany inspired colorway for the New York version of the Concept City rivalry pack, which is why the shoe has this beautiful teal or turquoise uh, silver and white colorway. So for those of you wondering why the hell does a New York based shoe have a turquoise colorway, it is based from Tiffany & Co who designed a medal with the NY logo. So there you go for the history or the, the story behind this shoe. Um, first off, this is my first ever pair of 997s. I've not owned a pair for, before. Um, I really, really wanted to get the, the ones that came out from Concepts last year. Uh, the Luxury Goods and the Rosé Pack. I wasn't able to pick up any of those. Um, but this is the first 997 that I picked up. And let's get into the shoes. So, we have this beautiful turquoise suede upper. And as you can see with all Concepts releases, it is a beautiful, lovely, soft material. Round to the rear of the shoe, you do have New Balance stitched into the back of the tongue. On the inner side of the shoe, uh, or the medial side, pretty much the same as the lateral. You do have a New Balance logo debossed onto the, the side of the midsole there. And on the front of the shoe, as they said in the description, you do have that lovely pebbled tongue with New Balance made in USA stitched in. So it will embroider it. Um, the white laces for me, like I said, was the best of the options. Really, really lights up the shoe with that beautiful white midsole. Uh, as we go down to the midsole, let's talk about the outsole. Uh, gray and white on the outsole uh, with, what is that cushioning system? X, is it X, P, R, oh, X, double R, 1000 cushioning system. I'm not 100% familiar with New Balance's cushioning systems, but they always brand it somewhere on the outsole or midsole. Uh, with, again, a New Balance logo uh, debossed into the middle or the arch of the footbed. Okay, uh, insoles of the shoe. As always, it's one of my favorite parts of any shoe is when they do a collaboration and they do something with the insoles. Um, like I said before, it's not something that is a massive thing because when you have the shoes on, no one really sees the insoles apart from the person who owns the shoe. But for me, it's a really nice touch. So on the right heel, you have the Concepts logo with Concepts New York in a metallic silver colorway and on the left insole you have the Concepts uh, what would you call that cursive branding um, the Boston pack has a different set of insoles so this is a, a black insole um, but the the Boston pair does have a slightly different insole so when those arrive I will show you the inside of those as well a bit of crumble on that midsole or the insole all right toe boxes of the shoe lovely lovely super soft suede um, it's not the best suede that concepts have used on the collab it's not the softest softest um, suede that I've ever thought on one of their new balances or ASICs but definitely a really nice soft soft suede on the side of the shoe you do have this almost metallic uh, silver pattern here it comes around the side and then again a metallic -y silver part on the heel cap. Uh, the 3M parts of the shoe. So you do have this wrap around that comes around the toe box and the inner side of the shoe. This is 3M reflective. On the outlining of the N New Balance logo you also have some 3M reflective material. And there's a very thin line that wraps around the heel and the inside of the shoe. This is a very thin 3M reflective line. Um, that is pretty much it for the outside overview of the shoe. Um, like I said, when I do get the 998s, the Boston Red Sox pack, I will do a video on those and I'll probably do a comparison between the two later in my channel. Um, but that's pretty much it for this shoe. Oh, the, sorry, the inside of the shoe is a lovely leather soft lining 
all around the heel of the shoe, beautiful, beautiful, soft leather lined insole, uh, inside, sorry, not insole. Um, and that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, if you want to follow me on social media, on Twitter and Instagram, it is Chris underscore S underscore Ramos. But clickable links will be in the description if you can't bother to tap that in. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more sneaker reviews. Uh, like and comment on this video if you have any questions. Uh, if you want to see some more sneaker reviews, subscribe to my channel. Share this video if you would. I'd really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the review. Peace.